Hey, no handed bandit here in the public restroom. The question has been asked how do you go to the restroom? Hopefully, uh, maybe something I show you will stand out. But uh, the number one thing is have patience and don't expect it to be a short thing. Uh, sometimes when we're thinking, oh, this should be so fast like this, then whatever experience we have is going to be bad. So some accessibility challenges of public restrooms are that thin toilet paper. Oh, I hate that thin toilet paper. And I'll address that later. Having toilet paper dispensers that are way down low. Sometimes I felt like, oh man, they made these for like gorillas, gorilla arms. But in that case, you'll need to bend your wrist and then face the hook up to grab the toilet paper down low. You may need a lot of patience in these cases. Another one is having those motion sensors on the sinks. Sometimes they're not activated by my hooks and in that case I use the paper towel to cover the sensor on the sink and the, or the soap dispenser or the hand dryer. If the paper towels are dispensed by a motion sensor then I use my forearm to get the paper towels. One tip is to carry a small package of flushable wipes and a little canister of Lysol wipes or a package. Uh, the brand I prefer for the flushable wipes is Dude Wipes or the store brand equivalent and the reason why I like them is they're wide and they have better coverage. I'm gonna put my thing over the top there and then uh, I'm gonna lay some toilet paper down on the seat because I'm gonna sit on it with my pants. I don't want my, my pants to get the the butt cheek germs. The butt cheek germs, no good. You're gonna sit down and do your business, right? Uh, sometimes toilet paper in public restrooms is not good and not quality. Uh, basically, I'm gonna stack this toilet paper up real, really like a book. The accordion technique. I've changed the name of the accordion technique to the poop accordion technique. So there you go. You can call it the accordion or the poop accordion. If your wrist is angled like mine is usually for eating, then I want to hit this lever. So I bump that with my knee and make the hook face straight up the same direction as this. What you want is that hook, you want it to face straight up. There it is. And you're gonna pull off toilet paper and you're gonna fold it two squares. So you wanna get this on your lap and fold it. I use about two squares. You can see the perforations. You're gonna fold it into the accordion or the poop accordion to me. Fold it two squares and then fold it back on itself. Two squares and then fold it back on itself. Two squares, and then fold it back on itself. Back and forth, back and forth manner. Sometimes I can pull a bunch off, and then rip it, and then drape it over my arm, and then fold it two squares, just like that. And the less you have, you come down with your arm, just like that, right at the creases, two squares. And you might have to try this several times to see how much you need personally. Maybe you eat a lot of fiber, and that means you won't need as much. Toilet paper varies, so you might have a different amount of squares. Some places I use three squares. Then you're gonna grab the toilet paper. You just wanna use the top part of your hook. You don't wanna grab it all up in here. I try to use as little as possible. You wanna grab at the very tip 
of your hooks and at the very top of your paper with about an inch of squeeze. I grab it as high up on the toilet paper as I can because this curve, it curves away from the uh, contaminated area that you're going to wipe. Now you're going to have almost like a book. Now uh, rotate your hook straight up and down. Bend your wrist against my knee, hit this lever, bend it. And then you stand up and you're going behind and just wipe. Some people say go up, some people say you only wipe down. Let me do that one more time for the camera. Just go like this, boom, or down on the way. I use it one time, up, and then I turn the page. Make sure not to grab on to where the poop is. Turn the page. And sometimes on that first one, you gotta turn two pages because it's a little moist or whatever. You didn't have enough Wheaties. They go again. Fold again. Repeat again. And then you just toss it in the toilet. There was some time where I used to just bunch it up. but sometimes bunching it up created more work. So once I do that, these toilets in the public restrooms do flush stronger, so you're able to make a bigger boat without clogging it. Uh, and then also, before I get started, uh, I usually I train my kind of train my intestines to kind of go to the restroom in the morning, so that can help a little bit. So I'm gonna grab this book that I'm creating at the edge. The edge is like one inch down, and now. I have this, an open book. I'm using the Texas Assistive device for my wrist, but any wrist that bends will work. I'm going to flex my wrist with some flexion. Then I'm going to stand up and I'm going behind and wiping. Uh, some people say you should only go in one direction. I don't always do that. Uh, but when you're done with one page, you just flip it in case you your feces is a little wet, then you could flip two or three pages and wipe again. And you just keep on doing it until you get a whole bunch uh, until you get this paper to be clean is what I try to do. Um, and if it doesn't work with the book, then what I'll do is I'll flush it. And then I'll make another book and flex the wrist, wipe, um, and that's how I do it in, in a public restroom. I think the tough part about public restroom is cleaning your hooks or your myoelectrics. When I was in this same position, just barely hurt, I was thinking it was kind of disgusting because, you know, you use your hooks to eat. If you think about it, uh, people, they wipe their butt with their hands and the only concern becomes uh, washing your hands and or washing your hooks in this case. And what I do at home, I always have these Cloroxes wipes by my toilet. But uh, for me, usually I'm trying to have a restroom that has paper towels. When 
We have paper towels. You can push out some paper towels and use the paper towels as a surface or soap. Then you can use the paper towel with the soap on it to clean off your hooks. And then the paper towel will dry. The tough part is some of these restrooms, they don't have paper towels. Uh, if that's the case, uh, I like to let my prosthetics hang. Then I'll pump soap onto these and I'll wash with my residual linen, rubbing on the surface. And then rinsing both the hook and the residual limb, and then using the hand dryer to dry it off. Now I can switch. This is part of the reason I don't use that myoelectrics very often is because I can't let them, them hang and use my residual limbs for things. So I'll use the soap again, wash, and then rinse and dry. There's a little short video on how I use public restrooms. Okay, hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, one more thing, like I have a bidet at home and I still use toilet paper after the bidet because I feel like it's not clean enough. So that being said, I practice all the time and I think that practice makes perfect and so every time you practice it you'll become better and better at it and then public restrooms uh, will become easier alright